And so we got the moon in Sagittarius for all zodiac signs at the moment, currently. We all gonna be basically reacting and responding to optimistic experiences or feeling the need to basically expand or make some changes when it comes to um, the things that we react and respond to. But of course, we're gonna add a whole lot of dedication, a whole lot of passion, a whole lot of integrity towards the areas where we have the actions of the fire of Aries Sun and of course, the moon is Sagittarius. So basically, this is the time where when the moon was waxing in Gemini, you're gonna basically see the other side of the 180. If the green is great, if the grass is green on the other side, or if you still got snakes in your garden with the moon with the Scorpio, AKA you basically exposed too much or you put too much secrets out there. And of course you basically didn't heal that wound. Now with this moon inside the church, what you basically need to do is be reacting and responding towards expansion, looking at the bigger picture, finding the basically a bigger purpose and of course a bigger meaning before you basically take steps and of course leapfrog. You also want to basically expand your mind and of course expand your worldview and of course have a whole lot of faith and hope and of course use a whole lot of that faith, a whole lot of that you know, passion, a whole lot of that um, energy towards what you're trying to expand and of course grow with because when the moon going to Capricorn, you're going to be basically reacting and responding to your business. Of course, you're going to be basically dealing with a square a learning ex experience when it comes to Areas where you're dealing with conflicts, obstacles, or whether things worked or not. And of course, it's basically getting yourself prepped and ready towards that new moon phase. But of course, we're going to basically run down the signs real quick when it comes to this perception. So all fire signs, you guys is going to basically be re working with a gift to expand and of course express your beliefs. And of course, to add a whole lot of equipment towards that. Now all the air signs are going to basically be reacting and responding and of course acting on opportunities. The only air signs that's going to basically be dealing with the polar opposites is Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Sentences when it comes to this aspect and revenue. Also, all of the um, all of the water signs, you guys basically, water signs, Scorpio, you guys will be basically seeing the other side and making changes and adapting on a deeper level to all the experiences. Cancers, you guys will be basically dealing with in conjunction, misunderstandings, but of course, Said church is actually exalted in your sign, so of course it loves kind of like kind of like being here. So you're basically going to be achieving a whole lot of information, and also Pisces, you guys are going to be going to learn experiences and a conflict on the sign, and learn how to basically jump off the porch when it comes to your dreams and imaginations. And Earth signs, Virgos, you guys are going to be going to conflicts and learning experiences. Also Capricorns, you guys are going to be seeing the other sides of the ups and downs. And um, Taurus, you guys will be developing misunderstandings when it comes to ways of going about optimistic and, of course, having faith towards practice. You're also dealing with a sun trial moon right now, so we are going to basically be having the gift to feel and act passionately towards what we are creating on a new higher density when it comes to our expression and, of course, our passion. We also got Mercury conjunct Neptune right now, so we're going to be basically looking at the bigger picture and of course paying attention towards the bigger picture and thinking of course about the bigger picture when it comes to our dreams and fantasies and of course illusions. We also got Mars Square Uranus right now. So we're basically gonna be learning how to value new passions or value a new circumstance or a new situation. Or this can basically be dealing with frustration when it comes to um changes to our passions. We also got the Mars sex out so we're gonna basically be reacting and responding and of course taking opportunities towards basically being direct and of course unique when it comes to our trauma or our wounds. We also got the Sun Sex House Pluto right now. So basically we're gonna be basically paying attention towards area where we could take full power power and control over. And of course transform something during this time or be transformed. Moon script moon sextile Pluto right now. So we're basically gonna be basically reacting and responding to areas where we can take full power and control and expand that power and control on a higher level. We also got the Mercury conjunct Jupiter right now. So of course we're gonna basically be thinking optimistically and of course thinking big <clears throat> when it comes to expanding what's on our mind right now. We also got Venus conjunct Mars right now. We're gonna be basically valuing a whole lot of passion, a whole lot of integrity, a whole lot of areas where we can basically feel the need to basically work together and of course get things going and flowing. We also got Venus square Uranus right now. So we're going to do um, some conflict <clears throat> when it comes to what we value and when it comes to our love matters and people, places, and things that we value. We go to unexpected changes in the area too when it comes to our values. We also got Venus sextile Chiron right now. So of course, we're going to have opportunities to value areas where we need to um, go ahead and take charge towards what we need to be passionately going towards where we can be healing ourselves during this time too. 
we also got Jupiter conjunct Neptune right now. So we're gonna basically be going to experiences when it comes to our dreams. And we basically be been facing behind closed doors. Sun conjunct Mercury, we're gonna be basically expressing everything on our mind right now. We also got Sun conjunct Neptune, we're gonna be expressing our dreams. We got Sun conjunct Chiron right now, we're gonna be paying attention towards our um trauma and things that's hurting us right now. We're also gonna have Moon Tron Mercury right now. We're gonna be basically feeling connected towards towards our mind right now. We're also gonna have Moon Tron Mercury right now. Towards yeah, I said that Moon Tron Neptune. We're gonna feel gifted towards our dreams or feel connected towards our dreams or feel sensitive right now. We're gonna have Moon Tron Chiron right now. We're gonna have the gift to feel um bigger towards experiences of trauma. We also gotta have Venus conjunct Saturn right now. We're gonna be basically valuing a whole lot of responsibilities from the past or valuing a whole lot of responsibilities towards our future with people, places, and things or past situations or past scenarios. If you got Sagittarius in your first house, you're a Sagittarius ascendant right now. So your spirit is placing you into a situation to expand your personalities, your personal endeavors, your personal experiences, your personal luck, your personal achievements. They want you to expand that right now. And of course, you're gonna be basically dealing with a conjunction. And of course, you're gonna have a gift to this aspect to basically go ahead and expand it. Now, if you're dealing with situations of the grass is not green on the other side, then of course, that means when the moon was in Scorpio, we was dealing with a whole lot of um, situations of not taking care of responsibilities or basically exposing too much. Now, what's gonna basically help you is you clearing out your um grass, make sure that your field is clean, and of course, feeling fill, and then you basically feel free and expand towards these areas and not basically allowing these things to hold you back or keep you stagnant. Now, what's going to help you is the way you relate when it comes to your um experiences and shit. Focus on your relationships, your partnerships, and of course, that's going to basically help you out. Now, if you got said church in the second house, you're going to be placed into a situation of expanding what you personally value right now, feel me? And of course, Whatever you value right now, make sure you're expanding on a higher higher density, high, higher variety. And, of course, putting the effort towards being stubborn towards what you're valuing right now on a bigger perception. And whatever you value right now, you're going to basically be realizing whether these good, whether these things are good or bad. Whether these things are going to basically bring you to the um, promised land during this phase. And, of course, when you got this in your third house, you're going to be facing into a situation of... They don't want differences when it comes to valuing your environment, your surroundings, and of course, your personal experiences in these areas. Feel me? Your friends and things that I matter. Get you a pen and paper. Start writing down on paper towards um what you're trying to manifest, and of course, what you're trying to value and push forward towards your environment and your surroundings. Making sure that you're looking at the bigger picture in these areas when it comes to your siblings and things that I matter, and of course, when it comes to your neighbors and of course, people, places, and things that you have close ties with. Also, you have Sagittarius in the fourth house. It's kind of like exalted in this area. So, you're going to be placed into a situation of developing a whole lot of expansion when it comes to your home, your privacy, so what you got going on. Of course, you've probably been placed into a situation of feeling smothered and feeling the need to basically expand away from your home. Or you probably had a whole lot of ties to home parents, and of course, parents may basically be very distant in this area, too. You basically need to expand your home and your privacy and, of course, how you feel on things, feel me? Expanding your comfort zone in this area. Now, if you got sad church in the fifth house, you been you need to basically start expanding your hobbies, what you got going on, your personal hobbies, your personal um references, and, of course, what personally excites you and, of course, what personally make you happy. Make sure you're expanding these things. Make sure you're looking at the bigger picture of these things. Seeing areas where you can basically project the image so when that moon and Capricorn comes, you can have a status and a goal, and, of course, to get fish, official on. And, of course, when it comes to broadcasting things. And the now, if you got Sagittarius in the sixth house, this is going to be a learning experience towards expanding your routine, your personal routines, your personal health, and of course, your personal responsibilities. Now, like your grass is going to be on green on the other side if you was in the right spectrum when it comes to your um, <clears throat> moon and Scorpio energies. Now, with this moon Sagittarius, I want you to feel optimistic and, of course, feel freely towards expanding what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, expanding your work ethics, and, of course, being placed into a situation of... Making sure whatever you're trying to, um, whatever you're reacting to and, of course, responding to, make sure it's dealing with something that's going to basically expand your routine, expand what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, expand what you got going on when it comes to your um, endeavors and, of course, when it comes to your tasks and your organization skills. Um, seventh house. You're going to be placed into situations of seeing the other side when it comes to expanding opportunities 
towards your relationships, which you relate to, and of course, having your personal um, endeavors going on. What's going to basically help you is going to be your first house, which is your ascendant, which is going to basically help you out a little bit. But try to break, create some equilibrium and balance in this area, feel me? Try not to basically second guess things, and of course, allow individuals to basically open up because you're a Gemini's ascendant, so you're dealing with opposite energies right now, feel me? When that, when that moment's waxing it, and um, Gemini, the energies that you was basically participating in, and of course, the seeds you was planting is going to basically be like a, hung, a whole 180 away, feel me? Depending on good seeds or bad seeds. But, of course, the green, the grass is going to be on the, grass will be green on the other side for relationships, depending on the seeds you planted. Now, eighth house. You're going to be placed into a situation of basically reacting deeply towards um, expansion, towards desires, passion, motivations, and endeavors and shit like that. Now, what you basically need to do right here, you need to expand your secrets expand your desires expand ways of getting out of a slump now you're going to basically be placed into a situation of having good seeds planted on the other side or grass green on the other side when it comes to your desires or stagnation depending on the um, energies you're planting now if you got said church in the ninth house you're going to be basically expanding from this world which means you're not going to have no form of um, grounded energies. You're going to be basically looking at the biggest picture. What's going to basically help you in this situation or your perceptors is going to be your surroundings, your environment. Feel me? Try not to basically expand from this world. Try, try to come back down to um, 3D a little bit. This way you won't basically be expanding too much up out of here. You're going to basically be in very direct in this area. Now, 10th house. They want you to expand your career, your goals, and your status. Sagittarius falls in this house. So basically, you may basically be facing said situations of having long-term goals or trying to work hard or dealing with differences and seeing other sides. But of course, you're going to have a whole lot of luck here, a whole lot of expansion, wherever um, Sagittarius is in your charts. But this is the 10th house, so you need to expand your status and what you're known for. 11th house, expanding your associations, your groups, and your acquaintances. 12th house, expanding your dreams, your imaginations on a higher level when you go to sleep. And of course,